and I'm going to say bonjour to Monsieur Delacour. Uh, that's the that's the only French that I know. Merci pour parler avec. Wow, this is very impressive. You know, this is the first time. Uh, you know, congratulations. Frankly, it was perfect French. I need to work to okay. be able to respond in Hindi. You know, it's going to be a while. <laughs> right. I just want to start by asking you, uh, Thierry. You know, um, the the numbers, as far as the numbers are concerned, they are in line. People expected a sequential decline uh, because the full impact of COVID. Uh, uh, was seen this quarter. Margins were a surprise. But what people are more keen on is what your strategy is going to be for Wipro. You have given hints yesterday and today at the AGM at the press conference. You said the focus is going to be profitability. You're going to be obsessed with growth. Uh, that you know you are going to come up with a plan. So what can we expect in the next one or two weeks from? You? Okay. Okay. So, you know, realize, Chandra, that I'm seven days into the role, you know, that, that would not be very uh, 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 possible or serious to come with a strategy uh, so early. I need to spend time with the team and work uh, on, you know, the situation where we stand and, and really look at the different aspects before uh, 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 structuring a real strategy. But it will happen. It will happen soon couple of uh, comments. One, you know, since, you know, just arrived seven days ago, we are, you know, communicating our Q1 results. Very proud, very proud of the team, very proud of what the team has achieved in a difficult time, which was, you know, as you know, uh, the situation over the last three months with an obsessive uh, uh, um, focus on the safety and the health of our employees, but also on connecting uh, and making sure that we were supporting uh, our clients and not letting them down one single second. I think from that standpoint, the achievement in the first quarter is really remarkable. Um, looking forward now, while I will work with the team on, you know, uh, uh, doing the right assessment, better understanding the, the business and starting to work on the priorities. Once clear is, one point is clear, growth, absolute obsession for growth. I have the passion for growth. Uh, I like being with clients. I like uh, working on deals and we will mobilize the, around, all the, the whole team around this theme of growth. Uh, we will also work on all the different ways to drive efficiency and productivity in the organization, uh, uh, simplify processes when, when possible, and allow people to spend less time internally, more time with the clients, more time in the market uh, every day. And finally, I would say, uh, you know, it's not a strategy, but it will lead to a strategy is my commitment is to challenge the status quo. Uh, uh, just because, you know, I'm coming with, you know, fresh pair of eyes, the opportunity to really look at things and, you know, question whether there's a better way to uh, to do it. And I will do it with the entire team. I will work with, you know, the, the team uh, that you see here and, and the rest of the executive committee. Uh, it's and, five and there will be a point in time we will come back to you with you know, a more detailed view on the strategy, of course. Right. Just, just a quick follow-up question there. I, I understand it's just been seven days, it's too early to talk about strategy. Uh, but I'm sure you have observed Wipro as a rival, as a peer for many years now. Um, you know, they've ticked all the boxes. They are present in digital, they're present in every geography that matters. They've been very aggressive on acquisitions. So if you have to diagnose the challenge, what would it be? Is it on the execution side? What is missing according to you? You know, you're right. Uh, I have, uh, you know, engaged with Wipro. I have seen Wipro in the market for the last 20 years uh, and, and in many, many occasions, uh, you know, competing, sometimes winning, sometimes losing. Uh, once I've learned to, to really, really appreciate uh, the quality uh, of the people I've met, uh, their values, uh, their sense of purpose, but also uh, their expertise, their deep knowledge in technology, their, their passion for, you know, the, 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 the delivering services to our clients. You know, what is missing 
Again, Chandra, it's slightly too early to jump on conclusions. That's not my style. I think, you know, I, I, I would look at, you know, what are the ways to drive, you know, more growth. And it's, you know, uh, spending more time with our customers, even in the context of COVID, connect more with our customers. Right. Uh, Thierry, I just have a final couple of questions for you. When is Wipro going to grow in a industry or even above the industry? And um, is overtaking HCL again going to be one of your immediate goals to reclaim your position as the third largest software provider in the country? A few answers. One, uh, Q2 should be the quarter where we stabilize the top line. Okay. Uh, a little too early to speak about H2, frankly, uh, especially me with my level of uh, knowledge. Uh, so, you know, you know, welcome back to, to you on, on that. I cannot put a date on when we will go back to the growth uh, uh, and actually start to gain market share versus the competition. But we are ambitious and certainly uh, that will be our ambition to, to claim the position uh, uh, that we had uh, some time ago. Uh, so I will not stay too obsessed with the performance of our competitors. We will drive our own um, trajectory. And certainly, uh, you know, our objective, our ambition is to be back on the podium uh, 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 soon. When? I can't tell you that now. <laughs>